The great Odonathus of Palmyra is dead, yet his legacy lives on. Be quick and march into Egypt, for the fertile lands of the Nile can feed our entire populace. For now, your southern border is safe, as Nabataeans and Lachmids offer their goods and friendship. To the east, the Sassanids and their satrapies carefully observe your every move, yet have kept their weapons sheathed thus far. Meanwhile, Roman forces at Galatia, fearing Palmyra and her growing might, stand ready to declare war. Your position is precarious, yet under your ambitious rule, Palmyra shall prosper. Noble Tetricus, there are threats aplenty. To the east, over the Rhine, Germanic tribes are ready to cross the river and invade. Thwart their incursions, and then strike back to prevent future ones. Once the eastern borders are secured, prudence dictates that a march towards the city of Rome will strengthen your position. Only then should you challenge Emperor Aurelian, who reigns over Pannonia and its nearby provinces. Be mindful that while Britannia remains loyal, Lusitania and Hispania to the south suffer from delusions of independence. Watch them closely, as they may brew betrayal. Emperor Aurelian, you face a crisis most dire. Barbarian hordes swarm along our borders and usurpers lay in wait for an attempt to seize power. From your capital at Sirmium, you must hold off invading barbarians and prepare to meet the major contenders. Palmyra to the southeast, and Gallic Rome to the west. Act quickly. March to Latium and seize control of Rome itself. Remember, there are territories in Asia Minor, Numidia, and Mauritania still loyal to you priceless allies in these dark days. In the name of Sol Invictus, go forth and restore our world. The Saxony have been braving the seas to raid coastal settlements for generations. As other Germanic barbarians gather around the mangled body of the Roman Empire, poised for the kill. The time of Saxon glory is at hand. In order to fully exploit your people's natural maritime power, a proper port is required. This is bound to bring you into conflict with your German brethren to the south. Once a harbor is secured, the Saxon raiding fleets can sail south along Gallic shores or even invade the lands of Roman Britain. Cast off to greatness. In the past, the Gothi laid waste to the Roman provinces of Dacia and Thracia, reaching as far as the Achaea and Asia. You must eclipse the glorious raids of the past. Behold Odessus and Apollonia Pontica. Their riches are ripe for the taking. In Dacia, capturing the Roman fortress of Zamazegatusa will open the gates to Pannonia and Illyricum. Remember the Buri to the north could be persuaded into alliance while the Roxolani nomads of Dacia require a tougher approach. Be wary of the Heruli and Bosporo to the east, for they will exploit any weakness you show. The formerly powerful Roman Empire crumbles before your eyes. Fulfill the dream of the Marcomanni. Lead them south towards Norea, then plunder Pannonia along with the other nearby Roman cities. First, however, consolidate your hold over Hercynia, a land you share with the Quadi to the east and the Alemanni to the west. Either negotiate alliances or spill their blood. The north is home to many ambitious chieftains, so remain vigilant against betrayal by people who call themselves your brothers. Remember, 
Wodenaz favors the brave, and the brave alone. You were the third Sassanid Shine Shah. The stars have ordained that you will eclipse your great predecessors, Ardashir and Shapur. Your satraps protect most of the borders, leaving you free to wage war against the desert kingdoms to the southwest, while maintaining an uneasy truce with Palmyra. The Roman provinces to the northwest are an enticing yet difficult prize. You also need to deal with the Dahi, who threaten both your lands and those of your satraps. As for the satraps themselves, be wary of Sakastan, for the Sakas are descended from a freedom-loving nomadic tribe prone to revolts. The ancient kingdom of Armenia, conquered by Shapur I, has thus become dominated by the Sassanids. Overseen by Shah and Shah Homidst, you are free to pursue an expansion of the Armenian sphere of influence. Your plans need to take into account the war with the Romans of Lydia to the west. To the south lie the lands of the Palmyrian queen Zenobia, who could yet be a precious ally or a terrible foe. At the same time, Christian refugees from abroad flock to the city of Asa Masata and must be dealt with one way or another. The fearsome Milani have always desired complete dominance over the Scythian steppes. To achieve it, first you must deal with the Lastea tribe, either through alliance or subjugation. Then your swift riders can speed into Caucasia, where soldiers are weak but coffers are full. The kingdom of Bosporo, with its trading ports and walled cities, is another tempting target for the wrath of the steppe peoples. Lands bring riches, riches bring power, and in time, the hooves of your Alani steeds will trample mighty Rome itself. Almost 60 years have passed since the campaigns of Septimius Severus against the Caledoni. Since the great emperor died, no further attempts to subdue them have been made. Now, sensing the weakened state of Roman affairs, you should prepare to reclaim the land of Britannia that rightfully belongs to the Celtic people. The Abdani cannot remain idle during the coming struggle. Aiding your armies seems the only honorable choice open to them, and also the only wise one. If, of course, they prove treacherous, do not hesitate to swiftly eradicate them.